What's going on everybody? We kind of have a different video for you today. We're heading out to Reeves Custom Holsters in Magnolia, Texas to kind of check out his shop and see how he puts these things together. I just have a new pistol and I'm going to go out and get a, a holster made from him. I've heard a lot about him. I've talked to him on the phone and uh, seems like a solid guy. I like this town so far. Magnolia is north of Houston, about 20 miles. Seems, seems all right. Kind of has a small town feel with a lot of new construction. If that makes sense. I don't know. So Reeves Customs Gun Holsters is located pretty close to this place called The Meeting Place. And that's M-E-A-T-I-N-G. Man, God, does this smell good. But check this out. They have a drive through barbecue. Like, this isn't like a chain. This is like a legit barbecue joint with a drive through bananas uh man it smells so good i'm gonna go check it out all right so this is the meeting place let's check this place out so far so good it looks really really neat so homely outstanding super clean Man, that was tasty. Now let's head over to the shop and see what Stacy's working on. Real quick, let's show the short I made and then we'll see the holster. What's going on guys? I'm here with Reeves Custom Holster. I guess I'm I'm going away from the sticky holster for a minute. I'm converting. He's trying to. So where can they get your information at? Um str custom leather on instagram str custom leather on facebook or we'll show you a picture of the card and you can just call me direct right i'll put the card down below thank you so much for watching as you can see from the video <laughs> stacy made this exactly how i wanted it to the t the extra mag in the front so i don't have to worry about it so it's 19 <laughs> plus one in the pistol and 19 in the other magazine if that's not enough for defense, I don't know what. But while I was there, I dropped off my second pistol to get a custom leather holster made. I said, hey, you got to make me a leather one. And I paid for it, by the way. None of this was free. And as you'll see coming up, it's worth every penny. Wait till you see how this leather one turns out. So let's fast forward four or five days. What's up, everybody? I'm heading back over to Reeves Customs Holster in Magnolia, Texas, a little bit north of Houston to pick up my new holster. I'm super excited to see it. I know uh, he sent me a few pictures and it looks amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. So I'll catch you in a little bit. I'm gonna go grab a quick lunch and uh, I'll, I'll see you in the shop. What's going on everyone? I just got to the Meeting Place barbecue. Can't wait to go in and eat this again. Last time I was here, I had a little bit of brisket and ribs. And uh, right now I'm gonna go in and try the famous Frito Pie. Let's go. This is how you know this gentleman has good taste. Look at this. Watching these two yakadoos. If I look tired in this video, it's just because I ate a ton. And I mean a ton of barbecue. And I was in a meat coma. This is a shop tour. This is one that's in progress right now. No kidding. I couldn't stop staring at some of this leather work in his office. Uh, man, like this holster, for instance. Oh, man, staring at this thing made me want to go and buy a wheel gun and have it make me like an old Western holster. It'd be pretty sweet. Maybe get like a 22 Rough Rider for my son. And this holster here, I mean, what is this, alligator? I don't even know. All I know is it looks cool. Let's just do Reed's custom holster. Yeah, Reed's. Yeah. I'm glad we worked out the kinks. 
All right, so we're over here at uh, Reeves Customs Holster, and I'm picking up my brand new leather. Because it has a, a Kydex attachment with a leather holster. All right, all right, so let's do that. All right, guys, we are over here at Reeves Customs Holster, and uh, I'm picking up my brand new holster for my Springfield Armory uh, Subcompact XDM Mod 2. And uh, this is what he calls a hybrid because it's a little bit of Kydex in there, and uh, it's it's a it's like a, what do you call this? A paddle? Yeah, it's a paddle. A paddle, and I like this a lot better. It's easier for me to to get on and off. But how long did it take you to make something like this? About five hours. Five hours, man, that is five awesome. hours. Actually, work, actually work, actual work time. But there's a lot of drying in between because you have to wet it and form it, and when you dye it, you have to let everything dry. Man, this thing is sweet, and it fits like a glove. I mean, that's that's as smooth as it gets right there. I can't wait to wear it. And how much does something like this cost? My leather holster start at one twenty five. One twenty five. Look at that. This is. I, I gotta tell you, I can't be happier with this. Look at that, look at that logo. Gotta love it. And that was actually built twice. I built one, I didn't like it. I threw it away and started over. Yeah. And he dug it out of the trash. Yeah, I dug it out of the <laughs> trash. The, the, the stitching on it was just a little off and he's such a dang perfectionist, he, he chucked it just because the stitching was just a little off. But I'm taking that home too. You're welcome to it. I'll use it for something. So how long have you been making holsters? Um, I started doing making holsters about five years ago. Um, prior to that though, I made a lot of wallets and belts and worked in a saddle shop for a while and uh, just kind of fiddling with it, you know. A lot, a lot of people ask me where I learned how to do it and I tell them prison, but I've never been in prison. <laughs> he just looks like it. Yeah, I look like a criminal, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. That American flag gives it away. Right yeah. there. You look like one of them uh, crazy protesters. Oh, I ain't no antique up in here. Man. Yeah. We got to be careful and don't get demonetized or nothing, you know. But no. YouTube's being. Never mind. I know they're, they, they're doing a, work, a number on my videos, too. Anyways, um, I go on YouTube as Reeves, Reeves Custom Holsters, but if y'all want to look at pictures or something, my Instagram is STR Custom Leather, and I have a Facebook page that is also STR Custom Leather. Hey, but, show them that little one you just made. You guys got to check this one out. Check this out. This is the world's smallest holster. Look at that. That's for a little 22. 22 Magnum, five shot. I call it Derringer, but it's not really a Derringer. Man, that thing is sweet. It's teeny tiny. I mean, that's. fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> yeah, and those aren't Donald Trump size fingers either. Those are, that's a big hand. Donald Trump size. Man. <laughs> Hey, so you said uh, some people are bringing down a 1911 for you to do? I have a 1911 uh, guy that's driving it down from Fort Worth, and another guy is bringing a judge from Hi. from Judd. This is a holster that I'm working on. Check that out. What what kind of material is that? Is that this is Cayman. Cayman. What is it, Cayman? A uh, Cayman is like a European alligator. Or crocodile, or something, something along that line. And how long? How many hours you got in that one? This one about four. Man, that looks sweet. When I get done, everything trimmed up and everything, I'll have probably six hours. In it. Nice, totally nice. And you used to, up until recently, you used to do all this stuff by hand. How long would that take you to do by hand? About a week. So that machine you just bought is paying for itself. Yeah, it's sitting right behind us back here. <laughs> yeah, it's a... How much leather can that do at one time? You said a stack? It, it'll so at least an inch. Uh, before, I would I would literally use a drill press 
make all this, get it glued together, and use a drill press and go around it with a small drill bit and drill every one of those little holes. And then I would sew it by hand. Man, that's so that great. machine takes a lot of the work out of it. it. I don't have to drill holes no more. Right. Well, hey, Stacy, I can't tell you how happy I am with this holster. It looks and it smells. It has that fresh leather smell, too. Man, this thing is going to be well used and I really appreciate it uh, man I can't tell you how happy I am with this this is great anything you want to tell the folks just I have a YouTube channel there's not much on it but we're fixing to fix that right 100% he needs <laughs> to start putting some videos out I want I got my technical director here he's going to start helping me I think <laughs> Shit. I mean shucks you see my channel it ain't all that pretty anyway um Y'all come on over and visit the YouTube channel, the Instagram, Facebook. And if they wanted to order a holster from you, how do they reach out to you? Um, this is my contact information right here. You, we'll put a picture of the card. Yeah, at I'll the put end a picture of the, video. Of the card in the video. And you can contact me or, or my wife. My wife's actually the owner. I just work here. Um, make sure you make all the payments out to his wife too no if you pay my wife I never get the money <laughs> thank y'all hope you like what you see and y'all come get you a leather holster yeah and I'll, I'll put a couple videos of the shop in there so you guys can see his work but man I gotta tell you everything I've seen here is top notch and uh, he's a perfectionist and I can respect that I love it except for cleaning my shop Shop it's all right. They can't see the mess. That's why it's video in this way. We're not well, showing. You know, it, it, they God, say you're messing it up. The video is really good. They, they can't see all that. They they say it. They say a, a messy shop means progress. Well, I'm getting with it because it's showing up messy in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Till next time.